if he gets COVID, honestly, as much as I hate to say, it's like a death sentence. I know no matter what. Hello, and welcome to The Trashler. I'm Callie, and I think people who make videos about The Bachelorette should get the vaccine first. <laughs> what? Quick fantasy shout out to our three winners this week, Ashley and both Piper twins. That would make an awesome band name. Okay, look, I'm not saying Taisha is Thanos, but did she snap her fingers and exactly half the cast is gone? Yes. Do they both have extremely prominent chests? Also, yes. I mean, seriously, girl, you're meeting parents this week. What are you trying to do? Show them how fertile you are? So yes, maybe we all spent more time this week watching The Bachelorette than it took to tie up decades of superhero storylines, but I loved it. This week was what I refer to as Murder Week or Rose Apocalypse, where so many contestants get axed that the show quickly transitions from group activities and drama in the house to I want you to birth my babies. It's where the show gets good. In the first 10 minutes of the episode, Taisha gets rid of Blake, Riley, and everyone's favorite dad and son. We then cram in a socially distanced men tell all, which honestly isn't worth mentioning other than Daddy Bateman giving his son a sippy cup and Oh Holiness mentioning my ideal home decor style. A lot of candles, and of course there's gonna be a lot of drama. Night two of Rose Apocalypse gives us the real reason for the season, hometowns. Which of course isn't involving actual travel this year. Coronavirus! I'm actually really sad that hometowns had to be reenacted on site. <laughs> If I can't see their family houses, then how am I supposed to judge how rich they are? <laughs> Our first fake hometown is Brendan, bringing us to fake Massachusetts, which obviously should have included a cardboard cutout of Bill Belichick and a screening of The Departed. <laughs> Duh. Brendan has a really cute relationship with his niece, but then we find out that the brother has other kids. Like Braden and Leah and Eden, like, look at you. You know, and <laughs> Which, like, where are they? Do they have COVID? Did the Bachelor overlords deem them too ugly for TV? Either way, get well soon? Sneaks brings us to his fake hometown of New York, which is especially fake because isn't he from New Jersey? Dude, that would have been so much fun. Fly in Polly D, hire a Tony Soprano impersonator. Oh! It doesn't matter though, because we know Sneaks is safe. I mean, next week is Fantasy Suites and Taisha, well, wants to see what that mouth do. Y'all, if you told me that we'd have someone on The Bachelor with face tattoos, who was the biological son of this woman, you know, life has a beautiful way of surprising us. Yeah. Speaking of surprises, Gabe's nerdy brother gets a rose over Ben, which seriously had me in my feelings. I mean, I really thought he was gonna take this whole thing. May I present exhibit A? That's it, the defense rests. My winner of the week is orange cowl neck blouses. My loser of the week is, you guessed it, anyone who Googled teardrop tattoos. Teardrop tattoos. <gasps> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Now, reality can be whatever I want.